Hi, Michael from Raymarine, Finland here. Uh, today we are installing or upgrading a pilot unit from an old Autohelm pilot to a new Evolution pilot in a sailboat. And we are going to use the old uh, drive unit because it's still functioning and fully compatible with the new system. This upgrade is, is actually doable for, for a person that's a little bit handy, so you can do it by yourself. You don't ne necessarily need a an, an professional installer to do this. And we are going to show you how to do it now. Here we have the new autopilot components. We have, we have the EV1, that's actually the, the heading sensor and the brain for the pilot. It looks like this in the box. Uh, this black round thing is the, the pilot brain and the heading sensor. And it is the brain of the system, as I said. Let's put it, it's a little bit windy outside, so let's put them in there. And then we have the AC, ACU unit. This is the unit that supplies power for the uh, drive unit. It looks like this. And then we have the control unit. This comes to the, in the panel and from this you control the pilot. Put it on and off and steer. And then we have the a cabling kit. With every, every upgrade unit or e every upgrade kit you get a cable, cabling kit. That's basically the standard installation cables that we're supposed to need. Uh, you might need something more depending on the length of the cables that you have to, to put in the boat. But usually you can manage with this. Okay, now we're, we're trying to remove the, the old unit. It's a bit tight here, but you can fit inside here if you're small like I am. <laughs> and we have the old cable in here. We're going to re reuse the old the power supply cables and the rest is actually... You have to remove everything and, and change it to the, to the new system. We are sort of uh, halfway. Uh, the old one is removed and now we are going to install the new one. What do we have here? Yes, just to compare the new and the old stuff. I have gathered everything here on the table. So we have on the old stuff we have the flux gate compass, which will be replaced by the EV1, that's a heading sensor and the pilot brain. We have the control panel from the old unit, and we have the control panels for the new unit. A bit different in size, difference in size there. Then we have from the old unit the uh, brain for the pilot with power supply and, and motor supply cables and a uh, connection box where you connect everything for the old unit. ACU unit for the new one, it's essentially the same as for the old one. It's a bit bigger though, but there's connections for, for the motor, for power, su power supply, rudder refer reference and for the clutch. In this boat there's a linear drive unit, so we need the clutch. And then we have connection for the NG network. How about the compass? Uh, is, is that important and wh where you place it? Yeah, uh, regarding the AC uni ACU unit, you have to think about that it should be mo mounted vertically because of possible water that may, may come on it, that it won't get inside to the connections. So you have the, it's best to mount vertically. Uh, the compass, of course, is, is a magnetic, electronic compass, so it's, it's sens very sensitive to magnetic, magnetic disturbance. So you need to find a place where you have little or no, actually, magnetic disturbance. We have the EV1 installed in its bracket here, in the bulkhead, and it's very firm there, and it should be a good place because there's no not too much distur disturbance in, in this area. It's, this is a stainless steel tank, so it shouldn't, and you can't actually place anything close to it here in this area at least. On the other side of the bulkhead, yes, but the, I said to the owner that you, you have to know that you don't put anything there that's magnetic. All right, now we have everything connected. We have, have all the cables and all the power supplies and, and uh, power to the, to the drive unit connected correctly. Uh, we have a clutch cable also, since it's a drive linear to, to type 1 drive, it has a clutch in it, so there's a cl clutch connection. Uh, we have put zip ties here to keep the cables on, in place, and that's good, a good thing to do, otherwise they might, after time, some 
just fall down from here and, and come loose. And after this is done, just put the cover on and it should be okay. Now we have here we have the NG system. We have the converter that converts uh, CTOK1 into NG. Pilot components are connected on the NG side, and the yellow one is CTOK1. And we have communication also on CTOK1, so we have data coming from there to, for the pilot. And the next thing to do is, is a C trial. We are on, on the, so, so to speak, on the, on the final stage. We have just installed the, the control panel and I've almost finished the electrical, electrical connections downstairs. And the next thing is to power it up and see what happens. Okay. Yeah. Finger, finger crossed. Fingers crossed, yeah, that everything works. But we could, we're still going to tr go through and, and hope look that how we it have goes connected and, everything. And, and then we go. Testing. Small test sailing. Yeah. Is that working now? Looks, yes, it's working good. now. We have power in the system and our control panel is working and the pilot components downstairs are working. We have the heading here from the compass and now we're just going to commission the pilot set up the boat and vessel settings, vessel hull type. We have a sailboat. This is very important that you choose the correct setting for the hull type, calibration lock, we'll take it off, then we have more options. Vessel settings, drive type, you have to choose drive type also to get everything to work correctly. Since we have already put in sailboat as the boat, chosen boat type, it automatically populates the type 1 linear unit for this, this pilot. So that's the correct one also for this boat. Here are different selections you can choose between different drive types, but this is linear type one. We are ready and heading is, looks good. Compass and number are correct, but this is the sailing boat. So we hoist the sails and- And test the pilot, it. yeah, and test the pilot. And now it, Functional perfectly. Yeah, it's out of the box when you have done the settings out of the box press auto and it works The boat is steering, steering by herself Auto pilot is, on, <laughs> pilot is on you don't have to do anything else than Look forward and that you don't hit something. Yeah It's good to have a Raymer in water <laughs> yes. And now because we have the old one are also Raymer in those are Fully connectable. Yes, they are. That's why we put in the converter into this boat. And that they you... talk together. Yeah, now they talk. Let the boat sail alone. <laughs> 